So we're getting right into the thick of things in the third set, and I'm super excited. I just want to let you guys know it is super early in the morning for me, so it's going to take me a few minutes into this episode to wake up. You guys know how it goes sometimes. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 4, Episode 21. This one's called Hero. Last episode, we ended off with uh, a change in rotation from Karasuno because the second set we lost pretty heavily to Inarizaki. So we're changing it up. We have uh, differences in terms of our attackers and blockers versus their attackers and blockers because they keep the same rotation every time. Um, now we have Kageyama and Tsukushima helping out. Like it's just, And Kageyama came in to block Suna and Suna said, he's more scaring than Tsukushima as a blocker who's our block lead so I mean maybe that's just a compliment to Kageyama but it just it, it gets me curious as to where we're going and how this is going to end because we only have 21 22 23 24 and 25 five more episodes we're literally almost there I am excited I say we hop right on into it remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching we do have that patreon links are in the description for you guys we are four episodes ahead over there so go check that out if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm please 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 don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the dapper channel don't forget to follow me on all my social medias Instagram Twitch and Twitter at dapper Darius and then don't forget we also have a PO box guys if you guys ever want to send me our fan mail anything and everything is much appreciated guys links for everything are always in the description um let's hop right into this haiku season 4 episode 21 hero let's do this all right here we go and i think i said in the pre-intro that he blocked suna but i totally meant iran guys oh that was a great synchro play Yeah, I know he not just over here trying to imitate it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Even with two blockers, it's not one on two. It's one on six. We got the whole team. Uh huh. And so we cut right back to where we were. He's doing his typical thing. That, that, that's so nasty. But now we have a backbone ready for it. <laughs> yup. My boy Daichi, the pinnacle of defense. I like that Tsukushima said that too. Not all about personal pride, getting that kill block. It's about what's best for the team, you know? He was getting them ready, and now third set's all ours. That's one thing they always say, you know. To, to get his boys ready for you. And I love that saying when they have a pin server, go score 10 points. Utmost faith and confidence in our boys. And he's been doing the visual trainings the last couple episodes, you know, getting ready. Yep. Mental service ace. <laughs> Put it in action, come on. Oh, he's focused. I love it. Kino Shida's about to come in so clutch. Ooh. And he was so focused on the serve that he wasn't able to even have any de- uh, Especially after doing all that mental training and it being over and he's already being subbed right back out in a- uh, You only get one shot, you know, in, in a situation like this. They've all had their moments. Yep, <laughs> and Oshida had an amazing moment too. I was hoping that would be it, buddy. I'm right there with you. He wanted that feeling like Suki had, you know, just that, that, that feeling of the passionate about volleyball. Heroic moment. Sugawara needs to be there for him, you know? And he's the one saying that to you. 
何もやってないナイス I always get so nervous every time it hits the net like that, but a net serve in? Hell yeah. Really? Nishinoya was a, a, a phobia kind of guy, just super scared. The feeling hasn't felt in a long time. Back that he was scared. Right? That is actually super big for a lot of people to be able to do. And Kinoshita is listening. And Kinoshita has paid attention to Nishinoya and respects him a lot when it comes to the plays he does. They practice together all the time. And it's back on Atsumu serve. Cuts over to Nishinoya with the fear. Everything, man. There's so much playing into this. Look at little Nishinoya. Yeah, he was a scared kid. Aww. <laughs> have someone help you. That's why you have someone like Gramps, you know? He was there for you as a kid. Now you have five other people who are with you right here. I remember that training practice. I remember that. The, wait, be a waste of time to pass up the opportunity to learn something new, you know? Hey, Kinoshita was that voice of reason in the last second for that overhand, that beautiful receive. Man, I love these guys. I love the squad. Everyone's moving up. The synchro attack. Point over to Kinoshita, come on. That's my boy. He needed this too. They really both did when you think about it. Should make me want to tear up, I'm so serious. Oh, I gotta like blow my nose, guys. He was huge in the fifth grade. I was blowing my nose, guys. I'm way too emotional in the morning, I'm sorry. Oh, are these the twins? This is all, oh my God, I didn't even notice these were the twins. Is that where they came up with their nicknames? Sumu and Asamu? And they're already laying the foundation for, <laughs> for their positions they play in later. Now they're in middle school. <laughs> and it only makes them both better in that aspect, you know. So I like this aspect. Without the hair difference with them being grown up, I think there's a slight eye difference. I'm trying to keep track of which one is which. Um, but I like the foundation of how they both enjoyed to be setter than the competition how, how they open their mind to the possibilities of a cool setter as is is you know um and then the competition led them to be both just amazing players and it led um them to be the setters and it's just it's, it's interesting seeing where they started to where they are now and how they knew iran and twin man it's just crazy i don't know it'd be nice having a rival since you were literally this young just to make you better in the same thing you know a certain drive. So Osamu's technically, technically a little bit better mechanically, but Atsumu has a little bit more drive. So due to Atsumu's drive, he became the setter. But they're un they're together. They're unbeatable, you know. This is where he's starting to get that personality. <laughs> it doesn't matter to him. Their feelings don't matter as long as he wins, you know? 
Atsumu is definitely more aggressive, more intimidating. Most definitely. Dyed his hair. Damn. Keeping it real with bro, man. Osamu had a bad game. A volleyball team classic. Let's bet our lunches on who's gonna win. They both got a little beat up. Hey, even the best rivals fight. We've seen that. But hey, that's how brothers make up. You know, middle of the night, you're just like, I'm sick of this shit. Let's, you're down to go do it. Yep. That's I, I actually have a brother, so that's really how brothers make up. Like I was saying, I love that Iran is this unbiased third party that's known them since they were literally little and have seen their personalities develop. Um, Atsumu, the more aggressive one, the not caring about how people feel, cares about the results and, and what's needed, you know, the winning aspect. Whereas Osamu strived to not be like his brother and to be the nice one, to be friendly with the team. But I don't want to say because of that, but Atsumu, I want to say, is more often than not on top of his game because he does put in that extra work in terms of that extra ambition, that extra drive because of Asumu, Osamu. Like, Osamu makes Atsumu better, but because of that, Atsumu is on belittles some other people because of that competition and his actual, you know, it's, just, it's, it's a very complicated situation, but there are easily people like this. And, like, uh, the personalities and the traits of these characters are so realistic with people in real life that it's it, I, I love it but it's it's definitely interesting i love it yeah we didn't see osamu there so see it's another aspect that he got chosen and osamu didn't the good thing to be frustrated at that you're not more frustrated you think you would be and that extra little bit of passion gives him that drive to just work a little bit harder and, you know, get noticed a little bit more. And that passion makes him a bit more controversial, a little bit more, you know, extreme. A super low set, but still beautifully executed. Right over to the brother. Oh my god. In tandem, they are, like, so good. I'm saying, do you know how low you'd have to be in that? Like, I couldn't even... Oh yeah, I mean, not only is Atsumu amazing, but together. Ooh, it's a good, it's a good analogy. Higher number for better support. <laughs> He'll make it work, man. I appreciate that. That's so good. When you think about it, when you, it's so weird because he's like, he does everything like 100 percent of anything he can do he does everything and anything to give you the best possible scenario from when you're spiking it that's why when you miss he 100 percent feels validated in blaming you he gave you the perfect angle setup placement timing everything you still miss that's on you bud like i i get where he's coming from but also get osamu's side like you can't really can't really have a good high team morale with that kind of aspect so it's like good that they balance each other out in that way but i completely get both sides i get where atsumu's feeling and i get osamu's feeling you know he's the ideal setter as kedma is saying if anyone's going to be able to recognize the talent of someone it's going to be kageyama and i'm i'm sure he's glad he came here it's fucking this is so dope I don't know if it's me waking up earlier and being extra emotional or, or something, but that episode made me tear up like three times. I'm just saying, this show, out of nowhere, just gives you such good backstories on these characters and makes you feel like, you know, you've known them for so long and their character traits are so realistic yet, yet developed and, and shaped out so well. Like, I really li enjoy how um Oran was the one was one of the ones that knew them even before middle school maybe it was middle school maybe it was grade school where they first met but super young first volleyball camp that he was there when they literally gave themselves the nicknames samu and sumu you know like it's like it's crazy and then to see how they developed from there into volleyball started becoming that rivalry how they started to like the position of setter 
and then you know like i said have that rivalry between themselves atsumu eventually got it and you know have that little bit more ambition to go a little bit further and i really like what osamu said though he's like equally skilled we're both equally skilled you might just have you might just like volleyball just a smidge more than i do and it's like that's literally all it takes is that one bit of passion to be able to make you you know like he's so passionate about it that he does put in 150 percent when it comes to to working hard so that's why he gets so frustrated when they don't win because he knows he has the potential he's just relying on people who can't hold up their weight i get that but it is a team effort so i get both sides completely it's just just a very fascinating story and i really enjoy it i really enjoy the cut to the current game that we're at right now everything that set that he did super low right there was so and i can totally understand i'm trying to physically picture myself being able to get that low like ken was said stabilize you know use your leg muscle even balancing like that i know people who legit in that squat position couldn't even balance for a couple of seconds let alone focus on everything get the ball all oh, like it's just le magnifique you know what i'm saying so it's like i'm ready to hop in this next episode i really am if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes want to watch them early check out that patreon links are down below like always i am ready for this don't forget to like subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments down below check out that patreon for early access i'll see you guys later peace out dapper squad thank you guys